in the late 90s, early 2000s, you're shooting dice, Caucasian woman runs past your dice game, curves to you, Brooklyn is, it's next. I need to invest in my backyard. If I'm getting into real estate today, what should I be looking for to figure out what is the next Brooklyn? What's the next Bronx? What's the next Newark? What are some tips that you can give to people to figure out where they should be placing their bet and investing? What I always tell people is to pay attention, right? Uh, pay attention to things like infrastructure, where the train's going. Um, not necessarily in Brooklyn, but anywhere, you know, like where, where, where does, do the cities have to, um, plans on expanding trains and, and where are they build in hospitals and things of that nature? Where is, like, when I first started, started in the game, I used to use the Starbucks test, right? Because I didn't have, I didn't have money for marketing and, excuse me, marketing research. So what I used to do was, um, I'd find out where Starbucks was coming up, mm -hmm. you know, and because back in the day, like before Starbucks was even in the hood hood, Starbucks, you know, used to do all this kinds of marketing uh, research to, to figure out the demographics of neighborhoods and stuff like that. So, so if there was a Starbucks there, I knew even if um, the, the neighborhood wasn't where, where it was, the fact that Starbucks was there, I knew that um, as long as I was in, in a half mile radius of that, I was good, you know? So the thing is you have to look for signs, you know, like, um, when, um, like when the Barclays Center was coming down here, um, that was a sign, you know? Um, like right now, and if you could look at East Flatbush, the, you know, Brooklyn College is expanding. You know, Brooklyn College is expanding. Um, a lot of, of big stores are going down there. So um, subsequently, the the value of the real estate has, has gone up a lot over there. So it's it's just a matter of paying attention. Pay attention to the politics, to the infrastructure, to the um, to the commercial tenants that are coming there, um, the people. You know, the people in the neighborhood. You know, you have to just be aware. Um, like there's never going to be a sign that that says things are changing, you know, by now, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know. But like when like when I when I was um, when I was coming in the game, um, like like downtown Brooklyn, um, Brooklyn Heights was like ground zero, right? Mm -hmm. So it's Brooklyn Heights. So if if the properties at Brooklyn Heights in Brooklyn Heights were a million dollars. That meant the properties in um, in Burham Hill was like a million five. That means that the properties in Fort Greene were two million. That means the properties in in Clinton Hills were two million five. I'm sorry, excuse me, I said that wrong. If uh, if it was one million in um, if it was one million in uh, Brooklyn Heights, that means Bourne Hill was like seven fifty. That meant um, Fort Greene was like 600. That meant um, Clinton Hills was was 500. So guess what? I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy in um, in Bed Stuy, which is in the outskirts of that. So um, at, as people get pushed out of the people who really wanted to be in um, in in um, what do you call it, Brooklyn Heights, they're gonna go to Borough Hill, and and then they're gonna go to um, Fort Greene and then they're gonna go to Clinton Hills, and then they're gonna go to Bed-Stuy. So I bought heavy in Bed-Stuy, you know. I bought, I bought properties in Bed-Stuy for like $400,000 when um, people were trying to buy properties in, in Fort Greene for, for like 750, 800, all right? So I got, you know, w one train stop away saved me like $400,000. So now, although, although the properties the properties in in Fort Greene are like four and five million dollars right now. Um, the pr the same properties that I bought in Bed Stuy for like four hundred thousand are now like worth two point five, you know, and it's shifting. 
you Can know, you give me a tip? Where, where, where should I be buying? <laughs> you know, um, like right now, um, East New York is hot. Um, but I got to believe all of Brooklyn is, it, it's overpriced no matter how you look at it. It's overpriced. Do yeah. you buy out of state? No. You don't buy out of state? I used to. But I know you because you mentioned Baltimore. I, I had Baltimore. I had Albany. I had, I had Miami. I had all of that. But um, again, like, as I said before, like my peace of mind, you know, because it, it was just too much for me. Like there's money out of state. You know, a friend of mine just told me about a, um, like a 40 unit building in Dallas, Texas for like a million dollars right now. You know, so there's, there's definitely opportunities that, um, that truth, truth be told, um, New York City is like the worst place to, to put your money in real estate right now because uh, it's gonna cost you a million, like a typical property in, in, um, in Brooklyn right now, uh, I think the, um, the average price of a, of a um, home in Brooklyn is, is $800,000. So to put 20% down on that is like $160,000, right? So you put that $160,000 to buy, to buy that, um, that, that house in, that house in um, East Flatbush right now, you're gonna probably make like if you if if you make if you're not just breaking even, you'll probably just make a couple hundred bucks on that. But if you take that same hundred sixty thousand dollars, you could you could buy stuff in Baltimore, you could buy stuff um, in Newark, and all that other uh, all those other undeveloped places, and you'll get a, a bigger return on that hundred sixty thousand dollars. Could might make you, you know, two thousand dollars a month. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.